Hi guys, I'm Yusuke, a karate coach in Japan, and let me do a follow-up lesson、um, on the video I did yesterday、uh, regarding kime is not necessary.、Um, I think a lot of you were, or some of you were, confused because I used the word kime. So let's just get that out of the way and talk about the feeling that you should be getting at the end of your punch. I think the tricky point here is that some of you are thinking the impact as a motion of you tightening up or locking. I saw a lot of of you using the word lock in the comment section.、Um, however, the guy guys,、um, if you lock your motion, you become lighter. Okay, let me explain what I mean.、Uh, for instance, right?、Uh, let's put your hand out. Okay, right hand out. Take your left hand. Make a hammer fist. Okay, from here. How heavy this is. How heavy it feels. On the hand, okay. Now relax everything and feel that difference. Which one's heavier? I think the answer is B. This one when you are relaxed. And which one would you want to be when you punch? Right? Would you want to be lighter or heavier? Basically, if you're tightening yourself up, you are stopping yourself. And why would you stop yourself when you want to drive the weight to wherever direction you're getting it to? And I know some of you might think, well, without you locking yourself or without you tightening up yourself,、um, you cannot penetrate. I really understand your point. <clears throat> However, the thing is,、um, I agree with your point, but you shouldn't start your thinking process with locking. Okay, when you lock yourself, you are probably adding unnecessary amount of tightening in order to withstand that power. So why don't you start from thinking? Um, put in enough power, just the enough amount, to withstand the force coming back. Instead of instead of going full out and locking everything, try out the weight drill so you feel the difference. Let me know if you have any more questions, because I would love to help you out with this concept. This concept really changed how I do my karate, so I heavily recommend it. In the next few videos, I'll explain using the same bottle. Okay, and explaining to you how you can use this method for not just punches, but kicks, blocks, different types of blocks and strikes. So please look forward to it. And like I mentioned before, I'll be going to Europe for a seminar this June in one month. So you can check out the details from the link down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.